Vivian Ellen, you enter today a whole new state of being. You come to stand before us and to make your vows to one another, moving deeper into your trust for one another and inviting the living God to help you grow in faith and in hope and love. Ellen, you'll always be my big sister and more importantly, my best friend. I'm sure someday in the future we'll be in your kitchen with your kids mixing spices together like we used to. <laughs> but until then, I look forward to watching you and Corey start this new journey together. Corey and I grew up together and what I really have seen over the years is that as Corey's developed, one thing's always remained consistent and that's his willingness to help others. He's never ever in it for himself. This is the first and only time I'm ever going to say this in public, but I always aspire to have Ellen's perseverance and drive and, and organizational skills, which I clearly lack because I'm still writing the speech. Corey is the best older brother that any young sibling could ever ask for. He is protective and he looks out for everybody around him and he is super welcoming and inclusive to everybody that he sees. So everyone, please join me in a toast to two wonderful, beautiful people who will soon share their lives together. Ellen, you were a gift from God 24 years ago, and I've loved you and loved being your father. And thank you for bringing Corey into our lives. He is also a gift. I wish you both peace, joy, and happiness. Continued friendship, deep and long-lasting love for each other, and all the good things life has to offer. To Corey and Ellen. Corey, wow, where do I even start? I get so excited whenever I talk about you, and I even get more excited when I think about our future together and everything we are going to accomplish together. Ellen, as you read this letter, we are both surrounded by some of the most important people in our lives. You have given me the gift of true, absolute, undying love. Every single day, I can tell how much you love me, even when you aren't trying to show it. Peace of the Lord be always with you. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Purcell. To the bride and groom, uh, we love you both. And to the Purcell and the Hebner families, we really appreciate you opening your hearts to us this weekend and having us all here for this glorious event. So if everybody would raise a glass, here's to Corey and Ellen. Corey, you are marrying up and may we all be so fortunate. God bless. Corey, I won't forget ever what you said. You were poised, confident. There was no doubt you absolutely wanted to marry Ellen. You said you loved her very much. And then you said she made you a better person and you wanted to spend the rest of your life with her. Well, Corey, I'm certainly thrilled you love her. But I will tell you that you too make Ellen a better person and I've seen it. She's complete with you. And we are now a better family for having you in our lives.